Easter basket for my children. So I came down and she was passing out Easter basket for the community and I was able to receive four for my children. And after that, I've been doing volunteer work for Barb's Family and Friends. And 10 years ago, she asked me to run the furniture bank. She didn't ask me, she told me I was running the furniture That's bank. more likely. I was going to say, boy, well, she nice to you. Because <laughs> she always said, when, when, when you want something done, you got to ask a busy person. And she knew I was that busy person. And she just taught me a lot. And I'm glad that I have known her to the time she's passed away. And, and I miss her very much. Thank you. Well, what we did is we ran into another person from TCTV, and she's doing an interview, so she's nice enough to let us uh, uh, hijack her interviews, so to speak. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, good job. Good job. Uh, and I'm doing a video for Barb and Friends, and then we're also doing a video about Barb, which we already talked about. So. You want questions or you want to talk? Questions. Okay. So if you want to say um, your name and that we have permission to use this video and um, what you're doing here today. Uh, my name is Jamie Jarstead. We have permission to use this video. And I'm just here volunteering. What are you doing? A uh, little bit of everything. Uh, working in the kitchen, getting people organized to figure out where to put them as volunteers. I usually start the morning at uh, the sign-in desk. And how long have you been helping out? It's my 23rd year. Mm. And tell us about Barb. Oh, uh, Barb. Uh, not enough time to say all the things you could say about Barb, but uh, I guess Pretty much, you know, anyone who knew Barb knew she was a loving, caring person. Definitely a character, one of a kind. Um, very giving. Uh, great cook. <laughs> and uh, a friend. Lots of people get taken pictures. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're prepared for 1500 for today's meal. 1500 for today's meal. Yeah. We've been uh, talking on our Facebook. How many days did it take you to cook? I cooked about 16 hours. Yeah. Did you go to bed at all? Excuse me? Did you go to bed at all? I got about three hours sleep three before hours. the event today. Thank you very much for doing this. You're welcome. Yeah. My pleasure. Potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Oh. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Uh -oh. It's going to be hard to watch yourself. Barbecue turkey? Uh, turkey. Turkey. Yep. All right. Thank you. Green beans. I like some green beans. Hey. And these are devil eggs. And you have? I have fruit salad. Very sweet and creamy. Fruit salad. I had
remember Malcolm uh, from when he was very little and our camera person? You're grown up, Malcolm? Yep. So how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You miss making movies? Tell me, tell me. Uh, some aspects of it, yes. Cool. Well, anytime you want to come and help. I'll do that. What's the aspect? Uh, just just uh, people I get to know, uh, yeah. people I meet. But life's good. Life is amazing. Well, it's nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep, see you. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So tell me, you you cooked how many days and how many oh, months? Oh, um, I started out in June, June. with Lake Fair and then where I helped uh, Rodney barbecue all every day at Lake Fair for like eight hours a day. Uh huh. And then we did the Tonino Trail Days, and we did a food demonstration at Home Depot, and then last night I cooked up uh, five hams and four turkeys on the grill and some other food. Loud. <coughs> but last night I cooked up go. five hams and four, uh, four turkeys. I did a slow smoking barbecue for about 15 hours. Got a lot of smoke into the meat. And, uh, yeah. Just, uh, organizing a competition barbecue in May to raise funds for the charity. For the next one, yeah. yeah. Well, here comes the music. I was going to ask you some other things. Uh, um, hang so with that, we're going to uh, leave here now. The second bus is coming in. So we're going to clear out and um, give another shot to all the volunteers. The cooking has started for the second batch of people. And that concludes Bob, our uh, family and friends, for this anniversary. Okay. Bye, Rodney. I'll be right back. Oh, pretty. Okay. Now, how was that? I forgot half of that stuff, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. It, it was cold, too. Yeah, and we were there just for a little while, imagine, uh, you know, to uh, not have a home. But it, it was so, f it felt like you. We had tablecloths on the tablecloth on the ticket. Imagine tablecloths on the table was really nice. It was homey, huh? Well, it was, and plus the service. Um, what I mean by service is people giving of their time and, and their essence and their spirit uh, to people, uh, helping, making sure that everybody was uh, had an enjoyable meal. If something wasn't there, they'd go get more, and. Um, if they didn't have it, they would substitute something else for it. And um, it wasn't just a, uh, it wasn't just a, uh, it wasn't just where you go in and, and one of those dinners where you walk down the line and everybody, you know, slaps something. Like in the military, you walk through and they 
put it on your plate and you don't have anything to say about it. And, you know, if you didn't like something, you said it. And, and if you wanted more, you could get it. And uh, uh, the homeless were very overwhelmed. Uh, uh, actually, you know, you know what I'm. I don't think you're all homeless. I think there were a lot of low-income people because Olympia got hit hard. We lost a lot of jobs, like the rest of the country. We got hit hard. I think uh, some people had. Uh, you know, it was just for people that wanted to that wanted to get together and have a community get together get together for Thanksgiving. It did, like I said, they did it again at Christmas. And why I'm we showing you Thanksgiving in the springtime is so you can when you see the people out, um, you know, be supportive and get a general idea, get, get and you can help. That's right. You can help uh, by donations. You can help by your time. You can help by cooking. Um, some of those people cooked f for 16 hours 16 hours or more yeah. and uh, that was just to get it going so you had to take it in you know but it was a lot of work and, and some people wanted to provide a, a, a dinner that was different uh, it, it was actually a, a, a vegetarian uh, or menu there yes there was mm -hmm. and that was yeah. nice so then, right, uh, like I mentioned, it was the very last thing I did. Uh, let me back up for a minute here. I don't know if you're going to be here next week, uh, next year, maybe, but I can put this actually, we can put this on the end. So let's forget, let's forget about that for a minute. Okay. Um, it was the last, the last thing that I was able to participate in. And because later I had a week class in Fusion. And uh, a weak clasp is one of the medications that are supposed to strengthen and glue your bones together so you don't break anything. Well, that didn't work so well, and, uh, and it kind of immobilized me for uh, some time. So during that time, uh, we decided to do some marathon shows. Uh, m not doing them, uh, watching them watching TV and one that I had ran into before and had all episodes available for is Doc Martin. Now I don't know I don't know if you can see this or not. We don't have a camera person so oh, this is as close as I can get. Doc Martin is a British comedy and uh, comes on Channel 9 and it's about a country doctor. He's a, what is he? He's a surgeon, no? Yeah, he was a surgeon. Yeah, and he has a phobia about blood, so he could no longer do surgery, and he landed in this little town called Penbin. Anyway, little hometown. And uh, he's uh, definitely a man with an attitude. There's a lot of lessons in that, huh? Yes, there is. Uh, because he he analyzes people, he call he brings them into what he calls surgery, which is his office, and uh, he he doesn't want them to have a spot of tea to drink, which is the old English custom. You know, when they come in, they have tea and sit down and talk. He just wants to diagnose, take care of. Uh, if anybody needs help, he wants to uh, get that help done he wants it done and over with and uh, he's not a person that's uh, very talkative he just goes through uh, diagnosis uh, does his diagnosis and uh, he works with people